it looks like Mike D'Antoni knew exactly what he was doing by sticking to his gun, so to speak, here with this team. He didn't make wholesale changes. He didn't overreact like the people who said this series was over after game one. He stuck to what this team does well. They played iso ball, but they shared the ball with a heavy dose of passing. And let's face it, Robin, when you've guys got guys that Tucker, Ariza, Gordon shooting 70% from the floor combined for 68 points, this is a very tough team to beat when you've got to also deal with James Harden and Chris Paul. Yeah, I'm thrilled the Rockets won the way they did. And it's not because I necessarily think it's a, a series now. It's because the referendum on them was ridiculous after game one. You know, th this binary culture we live in where it's championship or bust and then you're, you're thrown out. I mean, I think that's part of the reason Kevin Durant went to Golden State, right? Because it's, it's the ring or, or there's nothing. And the idea that the Rockets would have been some sort of failure or bad team because they couldn't beat the Warriors was ridiculous considering what this Houston team has accomplished this year. Yeah, and you mentioned Durant. D'Antoni knew what he was saying. He said after game one he wasn't concerned because KD – is going to get what he gets. Well, he got it again last night. The Rockets dealt with everything else, and they were in good shape.